I know I'll see my daughter one day somewhere. And until then, I'm driven by this. Nearly six years ago, his daughter was caught in the crossfire during a barber shop shootout. And now this Sacramento father is turning tragedy into a powerful opportunity. She was a young mother, and her death shook up a South Sacramento neighborhood and her family back in 2010. But it's the mission of her father that has now touched the lives of dozens of young black men in need of guidance. New tonight, CBS 13 Sharin Roger is in the newsroom with more about the transformational program. Sharin? Sam and Christina, it's powerful to see a father take his grief and turn it into something so positive. He saw the young black men who killed his daughter in that parking lot that day, and he saw a real need in the community, a need to talk to our youth. And so came about the Hawk Institute. I miss my child. Christmas is a tough. Richard Nelson lost his daughter Monique just days before Christmas in 2010 as she shielded her two year old son from a shootout outside a South Sacramento barber shop. Her son survived. She did not. It's up to black leadership to step forward and help solve this problem. It can't be just done by, quote, the system. Today we're talking about choices and consequences. Through his pain, Nelson saw a calling to keep today's kids from becoming tomorrow's criminals. These are the priorities. With the help of other men in the community, they started the Hawk Institute. It just brought hope back into my life and made me feel like I can do anything and achieve anything. They're keeping me pushing even when I'm down, even when I'm feeling like just dropping out. The nonprofit serves 100 students each year, offering after-school programs and field trips covering critical thinking skills to college and career preps. 11-year-old Shamar Knox says growing up, he was getting in a lot of trouble. My dad had left me and my mom, and I, was, I just felt like, well, there was nothing that was really going to help me. Now the men at Hawk are like fathers to him. Because they've been helping me to keep my grades up, and last year, because of um, doing better in school, I got on roll twice and principal's list the last year. Now that I'm focused on my grades more, it makes me want to have dreams to go to college and get a good job. An institute helping achieve potentials. And for Richard, he's certain his little girl is smiling down on him with pride. And she would say, that's my daddy. Hmm. It's an incredible program, and everyone who works there are volunteers. And by the way, those two students that we spoke to, they're off to college, and they just were awarded a grant. So they're expanding. They're starting a female version of this program in October. Already 75 young women on that waiting list. Boy, Shireen, I have to tell you, at a time when we see too many images of what we're seeing out of Charlotte, right. and then to hear that young boy, mm -hmm. how inspiring it was mm -hmm. he. I mean, that is, a, that is a young kid mm -hmm. with a great future. I mean, Absolutely. Uh, just great to see. Thanks very much. That was a terrific story. Mm -hmm.